Yo guys, I hope you're all good and thanks again for all the comments on the last videos. On today's video, we're going to do uh, five ways to hop up and over obstacles. We're going to go through five different ways. We're going to do some slow-mos as usual, go through some tips and pointers and yeah, generally just try and get them a little bit more dialed ourselves. So technique number one is probably the easiest one, it's a good one to start with and that's the roll-up technique. It's basically as it sounds, you approach the obstacle, you preload your front wheel, pull it up, get that front wheel onto the obstacle lean your weight forward and unweight your back wheel to get your back wheel up and onto the obstacle as well before riding out. If you are struggling, you can also do it with a pedal stroke to help get that front wheel up. And we'll go through both these techniques now. A textbook roll up technique. Oh, nice. You got any pointers when you were learning them? Just do it slowly and uh, roll up it. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. I think my main pointers of that is obviously get your weight over the front wheel once it's up there, but before you get to that stage, I think it's all about if your front wheel just skips on. I think that helps a lot because it means then you can just like lean over your front wheel and lift your back wheel up. Whereas if you go a little bit too high with your front wheel, you're not going to be over the front and you just don't get that leverage up with the back wheel. So it's all about just like creeping the front wheel on top of the obstacle, just and no more. And then you're way better positioned to actually get your back wheel up to join it. And obviously like Raspy said, just get at a good speed and start at like a comfortable height. As soon as you get much higher than that setup, you're going to then have to start looking at different techniques like the bunny hop and the pedal hop and stuff. <laughs> so the next technique we're going to do is just the sort of straight old traditional bunny hop. We're actually going to make it a little bit higher for us just by one extra pallet. Certain techniques require it to be starting at a certain height, whereas the bunny hop can pretty much start from one pallet or even lower um, and then obviously go from there. So bunny hop. So main tips for the bunny hop technique up and onto things would be, again, which I suppose is a bit of a theme in these videos, is uh, getting the speed right. As soon as you go too fast, it's really hard to kind of get the coordination of the whole hop right. The timing is everything. You're almost better to go too slow than too fast. And then also, it's basically getting the timing right for when to actually start the hop, like to see where the front wheel takes off in the ground in relation to the obstacles. It's all about pulling up to your body as high as you can because basically if you can pull that back wheel up and behind you it basically keeps your bike in the air for longer and you're just going to basically max out the sort of upward trajectory that you're trying to achieve as you will see from quite a lot of the videos that we post um quite a common trick to do is like a bunny hop to manual it's obviously a more advanced technique but if you were wanting to try them it's basically getting that initial bunny hop technique perfected but rather than holding your back brake when you land it's all about just trying to lift your back wheel up just a few inches more than you usually would um, and then try and modulate that brake and just hold that manual in. You want to try a hop to manual over the... Nice. So for technique number three, pretty similar to technique number two, but it's going to be what we call a pedal hop. Again, it was something I learned before the bunny hop, just because when I was younger, playing on your strength helps a little bit to get that front wheel up initially. Um, just feels a little bit more comfortable if you're worrying about getting your front wheel up. So yeah, but rather than just freewheeling and then using all your body weight to get your bike up, I'm gonna use a kick of your non-forward uh, non foot, followed by your forward foot. And as you're doing that, you're basically gonna lift up bunny hop technique around the back wheel. Disclaimer, I haven't done these for ages so my first attempts are probably going to be a little bit questionable. Let's see how we go.
basically as you can see it's essentially just the bunny hop technique but you're just giving yourself a little bit extra uh, lift especially with the front wheel once you're kind of into that position it's basically back to the same technique as your bunny hop technique where you're still kind of lifting your back wheel up into yourself as high as you can throwing your bike forward to basically keep your bike as high as you can for as long as you can before sort of landing down on the pallet so for technique number four we're going to do a slightly more advanced technique and that is the up to front method it's basically a bunny hop as before but we're going to take off a little bit earlier and rather than landing your back wheel first we're going to land the front wheel right on the edge it's a technique that rory's not done too much of so we're going to go through a few attempts now and uh, see how he gets on and then i'll try a few after and again we'll get some slow-mos <laughs> It's all about kind of coming in. Yeah, that's it. Just get your weight over the front a wee bit. Once you kind of figure out where you need to take off, that obviously makes a big difference. Basically, your front wheel always goes further than you think. So again, it feels weird, but you almost do need to like aim like a foot back <laughs> and like a pallet's worth down. Your worst fear is basically your front wheel going down. And that's basically what makes it hard. There goes my <laughs> such a great teacher. Yes, that's it. Yes, get it. That's it. Get ready to basically lean over the front essentially. Think of like try to get your head like over your front wheel. A little bit earlier, I think. Oh, that was like a tap. <laughs> Yep. You're definitely getting the technique in, you just need to move it back. Yes, Brass. Boom. So there you have it, Rory's learnt it in, how long did it take you? 20 minutes? Still going a little bit too far from the edge, but it's all a case of just like getting that technique, this sort of arc technique, and then just slowly moving it back as you get more confidence to basically getting your front wheel right onto the edge of that. Because the more you do that, the more you translate that sort of forward momentum into upward momentum before doing that sort of wheel swap technique that you saw us do. So for number technique number five, it was a technique that we did a how-to on last week actually, so I'll link that below. And that is the fun method of basically cheating your way up the step by using what we call a bump. So we're gonna go through that technique quickly now, but if you do wanna see it in more details, check out that how-to. Raspy's delighted now, he doesn't need to waste his time. His favorite technique. It's all about finding a little bit of wood or a rock about two or three inches tall put it in front of that obstacle a couple of feet back and then um, yeah basically do the bunny hop technique but you're just going to get that extra little boost of upward momentum from that bump someone actually commented in the last video and it does actually help you get the technique of the bunny hop so like if you are practicing that bunny hop and struggling with timing the bump could be a, a technique that could help you sort of get the timing right, both in relation to like where to take off um, in relation to the obstacle, but also just to be getting the timing between your front and your back wheel to sort of get that perfect bunny hop. Got a feeling you might get this one first go. <laughs> they tripped over my bike. Nice. I don't know how much more stoked you are than the bump. Only learning up the front about this. Yeah. And then like bumps is just like basically it's the equivalent of this is basically riding an e-bike and without it it's like riding a normal mountain bike. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So guys that was five techniques of how to uh, jump up and over obstacles on your bike thanks again for watching if you do have any questions on the sort of techniques we've just discussed please comment below and i'll do my best to get back to you also if you have any other ideas and what you'd like to see us uh, try and teach next again just comment below be sure to follow rory on instagram and uh, if you do want to see some more videos from myself please hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace